You know, there are so many sports out there to get your kids involved in this summer, and one that's growing in popularity is field hockey. Yeah, the Marble Life Sean Stryker is in Lewis trying his hand at the sport. Sean, now I know you've played ice hockey. Is that helping you out any here? No, Jimmy and Lisa, the years I've spent in an ice rink are doing absolutely nothing to help me out here on the field. And I'll be honest with you guys, I have played field hockey before. I played in a fundraising tournament. Even though I was a self-proclaimed MVP, my game could still use a little work. Lucky for me, I'm hanging out with Kerry Lingo of Elite Connection Field Hockey. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, I know from experience, field hockey is a tough sport, but it's it, fun. It is very fun. Actually, out here we have about 50 girls today for camp, and everybody's having a blast. And they're running around, they're working up a sweat, so obviously there's a lot of health benefits with playing sports, as in with all of them, but there's also some social benefits. Yes, uh, field hockey is definitely a family-oriented sport. Uh, today we have some girls that are six years old all the way up to collegiate players. Mm. Um, in addition, our coaching staff, some of the coaching staff I've been friends with for over 20 years, thanks to field hockey. So you stay together, you stick together, it's a tight-knit uh, family. It is, very much so. And so the, the coaching staff is pretty qualified. Yes, I have to brag a little bit about them. Um, Elite Connection only employs either a national team or Olympians. And uh, we're lucky today to have Rachel Dawson, Lauren Crandall, Caitlin Fagowski, who are on the current national team and um, are all two-time Olympians. That's amazing. So they're, they're qualified. They can coach any level, right? Any, young, from little girls up to adults. Yeah, um, when Kate Barber Kinnear and I started the camp six years ago, we wanted to um, reach out and teach high level fundamentals to any age level, um, which is why we have such a high level coaching um, staff. It's just really been fun and it, giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, they look like they're having fun. So what does the camp kind of entail, the, the camp that's going on right now? Yeah, we basically um, focus on high level fundamentals. For the little ones, six year olds, it's just good to get their stick in the hand and get a touch on the ball. For the older girls, we actually can go into more um, game intense situations and go over decision making mm -hmm. um, in the game, which is really great to um, improve their um, game. Yeah, I, I, they're running through all types of drills behind me and we kind of set up a little obstacle course. We thought it'd be fun to see how I can handle the ball and kind of stick handle around. And it, I'm going to go try yeah, it. Yeah, go for You're it, You're going to walk them Good through and, and tell them, kind of tell them what I'm doing. Okay, Sean's going to go through a basic fundamental skill set. He's going to work on his pulls dragging around the cone, trying to keep his stick on the ball the whole time. Uh, He's going to do some long drags, trying to get it outside of his knee. Outside, good. Uh, One more. Oh, yeah, and then to fine tune the wrist, we're going to work on quick hands oh, through the minefield. Now you quick, say quick. heads up. Yep, try to get your eyes up and then finish with the pass to me. And I think the object was to not hit, not cone. hit the cones. Yes. Obviously, I need more work, and maybe I'll stop by one of your uh, camps We'd or love to have clinics. You. And if you want to find out more information, uh, including the schedules of the camps and clinics, you can visit our website, WBOC.com. Click on our picture at the top of the page. That was fun. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> My pleasure. Well, all I can say, it's a good thing that wasn't a real minefield, Sean. Yeah, it's a big guess. <laughs> now, see, I could never do that. Yeah? Because the ground's too far away. You need a really I don't know, 18 <laughs> oh, <never mind. laughs> long stick. Well, thanks for watching Delmarva Life. Be sure to join us tomorrow. Now that summer is here, you can be sure that we're going to have a few heat waves, too. We'll learn how technology is being used as a line of defense to help parents keep their kids safe in the stifling heat. And it's not just our kids, but our pets as well. There are still people who will leave their dogs in a parked car. Personally, it makes me absolutely nuts. We're going to show you just how easy it is for that car to become a death trap for dogs. I can't believe we still have to tell people that. that Summertime also means storms. Now, there are some contractors who often travel from state to state looking for vulnerable homeowners in desperate need of repair help. Find out how to steer clear of storm chasing contractors. We are also talking success tomorrow. We are going to share seven things that successful people do before breakfast. And maybe you'd like to start a successful business. Being your own boss it certainly can be challenging. We'll introduce you to two women who are helping startups succeed. Well, there's one certain group that if they have their way, it's going to succeed in keeping the Fenwick Lighthouse a shining beacon in Delaware's history. So guess what? The Marble Life's gonna pay a visit to this Delmarva treasure. Oh yeah, and we're in the kitchen with Snappers making carabine shrimp Ooh. over rice. Sounds oh, good. Oh, oh. Don't forget, if you missed any of today's information, just visit WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page. Don't go anywhere, stay right where you are. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva. WBOC News at 6 starts right now.